what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a quite a short, um, kind of textured, kind of whiff, should we say? I wouldn't say it's a pompadour, it's not too smooth, it's more kind of like a, so it's just up at the front, but loads and loads of texture. I'm going to utilize quite a few different techniques to texturize the hair. And then taking it nice and short back and size, taking it quite on trend. Uh, probably skim fade down the edges, uh, but it's quite a high square finish, so it's uh, it's, a fit, it's quite a high uh, sort of to crop towards the back, so quite a bit of a shorter, get a bit longer towards the fringe, hoping for that kind of square shape across the top and square on the sides. Very masculine shape. You're looking for a skin fade, but you're not looking for it too high. You know, you wanna, I'd say you're asking for sort of like a medium height skin fade, or say, like say like a low skin fade, for example. Um, but again, if you've got like darker hair, you can probably get away with going a bit higher on this. Um, because this hair's quite light, and again, based on the head shape, you're essentially looking for a, a skin fade, really. We're not too high though, keeping it quite, sort of like say a medium to low height because then it gives you room to kind of create squareness if you've got, say, a rounder head. With mine, mine doesn't really concave on the sides so much, it's quite strong here for me, so I can get away with going higher. Um, but yeah, analyze the head shape and then let them decide how high they want to go. Lengthwise, I'm gonna look at taking, especially towards the back, because don't forget, the apex of the head is the highest point, and it's around here, as you can see, if you balance that comb on it, you can see where the apex of the head is. So essentially this, it's almost going to be, if you take this too short, it's going to be very short at this point here. So you always want to, I'd always maintain, say about, for this length I'm going to do maybe about an inch and a half towards the back. But again, just making sure you don't want to go too short at the crown, because as you get to this apex, it's going to be very short. And then super long towards the fringe. So again, it's analysing the head shape, analysing where everything is. And then choosing the length. But I'd say about an inch and a half, about that maybe, roughly. And then slightly longer towards the fringe. So I'll just put a little bit of texture in there now. Just gonna slide through from the back, just to break that up. So what this will do is force a bit of hair forward, and then I'll do a bit of texture forcing the hair back. So after that real mixture of texture, whether he wants to wear it down at the back, up at the back one day, or just mix it all through the haircut.
finger dry in it to start with. High heat, low speed. We'll get towards the fringe. Start just a couple of sections back. Just roll this around with brush. Start to get a bit of lift in there. So I've had a little bit more texture when it's dry. It's a little bit blunt, so take it down a little bit. Put it into it. This time I'm using cold air, because we're not looking to dry it into any shape now. And I don't want to melt the product when we put it in as well. So I want the product to last longer. I'll admit, if you put it in too hot, it'll just melt. So a five piece size of your very own product. Make it right through, warm it right up. Make sure, start the crown, rub it through the crown a little bit. So everyone just starts at the fringe, but then you get nothing as you get to the back. So start the crown, and then wait towards the fringe. Make sure you're rubbing it all in through the sides, the crown, and then just follow it. So you can see all that product, all that texture, a bit of product coming through there. Flatten that crown down. Make sure you rub it through the sides into the blend. That smells really good. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So that is a nice, short, quick haircut, and super texture in there as well. That's a skin fade on the back of the sides. How long is it going to last? I would say you get roughly about four or five weeks okay. of that, because the amount of texture that's in your hair, yeah. it's not, it, it's, it doesn't look that without any product in, because the way we've, we've yeah. textured it. We haven't done it in like lines or steps or anything like that at all. So even towards the four to five week mark, that will still be lasting because there's so much texture in the top as well. Mm. Um, so, and obviously with it being so short back in sides, you probably get away with it. It'll probably be like number four by the time you can okay. get it done again. So, so I don't have to do anything to like maintain it? No, just, just, just shampoo, it condition it yeah. every other day and just put a little product on the top, yeah. Awesome, that's it. I love it.